Hello and welcome to Math 142, College Math. I'm your instructor, Mike Rosinski, and we're just going to take a look at our Canvas shell and see how to navigate all the resources and assignments. So when you first open up the Canvas page, you'll see this welcome page where you have all these links here, all these pictures, and each picture is a link to anywhere that you need to go. So we have the modules, which is where the bulk of the work is going to be. We have the syllabus, which is where you can find essentially the contract for the class and all the pertinent information about how the class is ran. And then we have Talkspace here, which is a free online mental health support system for MCC students. We have information about me, and then we have this online calculator. As we'll see in the syllabus, there's not a required calculator. You are allowed to use this scientific calculator on assessments and homeworks, and it'll always be linked in assignments. So this is just another link to that calculator. So taking a look at the modules, this is where we'll find all of our assignments and they're broken up into weekly folders. So in the first week, we have, there's more tabs than normal. Normally the tabs will just be broken up by days and you'll have assignments due on Fridays, Sundays, and Mondays. Because it's the first week and there's some in introductory stuff to get through, we have some Wednesday assignments. So we start off with all the extra notes and supplements and any extra readings that you might want for your learning. And the most important one is the handout here. So this, these notes handouts will be guided notes and you'll watch videos that guide you to those notes and then occasionally the video will stop and ask you a question from the notes from the video and you'll answer those. Those assignments are called the learning assignments. And so let's just take a look at the process of going through those assignments. So if you open up the handout for the notes, you have this, you can download it and print it off if you want, you can make it full screen or zoom in. So these are the notes for the first unit. So you'll go through those notes and the assignments and all the pages should be set up where if you just hit next down here, it'll take you to the next thing that you need to do. So this is just an assignment to get you used to the homework system, which is my open math and it's integrated into Canvas. And with this assignment, I already went through and practice it, but it's essentially just practicing entering the answers. This question literally tells you just to enter 7.1234 and that's it. And so you finish this assignment and that's good. You get all the way through and then you hit next and it gets you to the next assignment. And if you ever get stuck or lost of where you're going, you can always just go back to the home and look through the to-do list here. Just be warned that sometimes you might start an assignment and not finish it, but if you start an assignment, it'll take it off that to-do list. So going back to the modules and then the week one folder, we have in Wednesday, you have a syllabus quiz, a couple introductory assignments on how to use the homework system. And then we also have when we start actually learning the new material. And here I have written out the order that you should be going through the assignments. And this isn't just a suggestion. The order is designed into the assignments where each assignment has a prerequisite. So I've already done some of these on my student account. So these CP1, CP2, these are class prep assignments. So they get you prepared, just introductory or review knowledge for what you'll be learning. And then the homework learning assignments, usually abbreviated HWL, 1A or 2A or things like that, those will be where you follow along through a video and answer some questions as the video goes along. And then once you finish those learning problem assignments, you then do practice problems where you're given a set of problems and you work through those problems that cover the topics of what you learned in the learning problems assignment. And you have multiple attempts on all of these assignments and you can always just hit a similar question. So if I open up this page and it says, I'm not able to work on this assignment because I haven't met the prerequisite. I need to get a 50% on that previous assignment. So I can just hit back and go through this. And if I open this up, I can start it. And you can see it starts a video. And as the video goes through, it'll stop and ask you for questions. So let's go back to, if we ever wanna see the big picture, sometimes we can get bogged down just hitting next all the time. So if we wanna go back to the home page, that's generally how the assignments will work. And a couple of assignments I haven't talked about yet are the 
problem solving assignments and the checkpoints. Now for the first week, we won't have a checkpoint, but after each unit, you'll have a checkpoint, which those are, there'll be a practice checkpoint and the actual checkpoint. The practice checkpoint isn't worth the grade, it's just practicing for the checkpoint itself. The checkpoint will cover all the material from the unit and it will be timed and you'll have two attempts on the checkpoint and it'll, you'll be, save your best score. And so these problem solving assignments are usually just one or two questions Unfortunately, I'm not able to open up because I haven't done the prerequisite yet. But these ones oftentimes are more free response and problem solving type skills that we're looking for in a math class. And a lot of these times they are manually graded. So if your assignment says, you know, you have a low score or zero, that's because I haven't gotten in and graded it yet. So I have to go through and manually grade most of the problem solving assignments. Now let's take a look back at the home page. And let's just open up the syllabus and you can access the syllabus through that link and it should be on the left hand side here. And as we scroll through here, you can see all the important information about me and about our class. We're not meeting at all. It's just an online class and you have my office hours listed here, tutoring hours. I'm on the Bullhead City campus, but I'll also be available through Zoom. And if you scroll down, we go through all the different assignments, how they're set up and some of the policies and also a calendar of when assessments will be. And an important thing to know is that assessments will be needed to take in, in person on your home campus. So I'll send out messages closer to when that time comes, but you can see when those times will be, we should expect to have a morning time available uh, middle of the day or afternoon time and an evening time. So we try to cover all the bases and they'll be available. Those testing times and days are listed here on the syllabus. So try to plan ahead and be aware of when those days are. And I'll give more information as we get closer to those days. Otherwise, you can sort of look through the calendar and potentially use it as like a checklist to cross things off. Other than that, that's most of our class. Another way of seeing when assignments are due is you can take a look at the calendar. And sometimes you might have multiple classes here. You can just check or uncheck some of them and it'll only appear what you have checked over here. So this shows all the assignments that you need to do. I personally like seeing the calendar view of when assignments are due because then that allows me to see when I have to do what. And so for this first week, what you should be doing is the syllabus quiz, these two introductory assignments, they're very short assignments just to get you warmed up and familiar with the system. And then starting on Friday is when you actually start learning the new content. So make sure to check in each week when those assignments are due and what they're due. Moving forward, after the first week, assignments will only be due on Friday, Sunday, and Monday. And on the assignments, if I select one of these assignments here, I can just click on the title and it opens up. And another thing to mention is that every assignment, except for the assessments, you're able to use what's called a late pass. So a late pass, you have a limited amount of them and you can click the late pass and it'll extend a due date by 48 hours. So in case you have trouble, you get sick, or some life event happens where you're not able to uh, complete an assignment, you can just use the late pass and extend that assignment from 48 hours of when you requested that. So just be aware of that late pass as sort of like a grace period, and there's a limited amount of those. And you, if there are ever troubles with that, just let me know. Otherwise, I look forward to working with you this semester and always reach out if you have any, any questions.